news we have a new blizzard game in the works so blizzard have announced that they're working on a brand new game in a world different from any other they've created mm. so the company shared the news on its website this week wait. along with several job ads did you say wait yeah it just looks like mike, world of warcraft mike, they just, just, just mike <laughs> Sometimes we have generic B-roll to give people I something know, to look at. I know, I am putting we're some talking about. commentary in here. I obviously know that. So we should do, we should do training. We should do improv training, Mike. So it's okay. like, there's the thing in improv, the first rule of improv is yes and. So whenever you see things, it's like, yep, I'm going with this. There's, there must be some sense to the B-roll. Instead no, of the, no, but this is not the right ah, B-roll. Yes, yes, but maybe the audience no, not yes, also but, like yes, and. some light yes, entertainment. And. No, yes, and. Well, they go, so, ha, 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 that's funny. Because that's <laughs> clearly not a brand new game. That's that game I've been playing for the last 20 years of my life. So you go, yes, and I love this B-roll of this new cheetah game they're working on. <laughs> It's um, World of Warcraft for anyone that's not watching the video. Really. Yeah, that's the other thing with Mike. He thinks only people oh, yeah. watch the video. Half the audience listens to the podcast, poor bastards. Um, so <laughs> there's been several job ads shared on the company website. Uh, they're hiring for art, design, and engineering roles on the project. It will be the first new IP since 2016's Overwatch, which is a huge hit. Before that, mm -hmm. their last new IP was 1998's Starcraft. It's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. That's like WoW was in there. I know that that yeah. Warcraft, but yeah, I get. I, I kind of almost look mm. at WoW as a new IP, but I get. You, yeah, then maybe that's right. Oh yeah, like, like yeah. But the thing is, like, you've got things like Hearthstone and and uh, Heroes of Storm. Like that's all. Yeah, true. The existing IPs kind of bundled into one. Like Starcraft. Yeah. St I mean, Starcraft was born from the ashes of was it Titan, the MMO that they they were getting off the ground. It was in a new world, and then it turned into Overwatch. So, but. They're not a studio that's that well known for bringing out new IP. You know, yeah, that's true. Often. And that's like so. Nintendo, right? Like Splatoon before mm. ARMS was the latest that they'd put together, like a whole new world and universe of characters. So the game joins Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal. And I do own a phone. I can download that game. Warcraft, mobile projects, and Overcraft, Overwatch 2 in the studio's mm. pipeline. So Blizzard on the new game. Quote, we are going on a journey to a whole new universe home to a brand new survival game for PC and console. Mm. Not any specific console, just the no, word no. console. Uh, and well, then, oh, hang on. PC and console, not consoles. So Yeah, but console can be plural uh, in this context. Well, I don't know. I have a feeling it's console, Xbox, that's it. No, because when you just say Singular. console, it's like the whole genre of that hardware type, I think. But yeah, I like, I like where you're yes, going. I like where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying I'm doing a no but. <laughs> and then also, quote, do you like survival games? <laughs> do you want to join a collaborative team of experienced developers at the early stages of a new project, sign NDAs, I mean, sorry, skip that, uh, in a new world and help write the next chapter in Blizzard's story? Mm. No. So when I bolded the... Do you like survival games? I didn't realize I mentioned survival game in the first one because I oh, was like, right. okay, that, that's like the, the key point is that obviously it's a survival mm. game. I have a feeling they're making a survival game. Mm. So with this news, can I just, I'll just jump in here. Is uh -huh. I've read a lot of people talking online about why wouldn't they make this a survival game in IP they already have, you know, in Warcraft or Starcraft. And I'm like, you want them to like... Yeah, innovate. Yeah, exactly. Like, Something you want new. new worlds, like, new stuff. Like, why do you want the same thing? Well, this, you know what would happen is like they announce, you announce it's a StarCraft mm -hmm. survival game or something. I'm not saying that's the best fit. I'm just saying as an example. Mm. People are going to be like, that's not what we wanted. We wanted StarCraft 3 or some bullshit like that. You're only going to piss people off. Like, give it a chance to actually create a new world, new IP, bring new value to the company mm. from a business standpoint. Sure, it might not work, but it's Blizzard. Generally, they've got pretty damn good track record of launching hey, new IP Overwatch. when they yeah, do. So that's brilliant. Overwatch for a studio that. that never made an FPS mm. to mm. make a game of that quality and, you know, having mm. a few weirdness with it. But, like, for that to be their first try is mm -hmm. ridiculous and mm -hmm. they have actually some of the best artists in the industry like so many people went to work at blizzard just because you know like some of the best artists out there because of the depth in their art department and just all the stuff they did in that space so i'd be like all for a new ip and mm. to be honest like f people like me who are like i don't know 
I'd almost not play a game in the Warcraft universe because I feel like I'm so detached from it. Yeah, same. Like, mm. I, I mm. always felt more likely to play Overwatch because it's like, okay, this is a new thing from them. I can jump in on this. This is not a 30-year journey that I need to go through to not be, you know, judged by other people. So, but yeah, like, uh, do we think it's going to be like yeah. Valheim or like those type yeah, of survival Yeah, I think games? it's going to be like New World. Only mm. probably New not World. as bad because okay. it's not made by Amazon. Uh, but is New, New World a survival, not survival game? Is it? I think it's more MMO. Well, is this I reckon this is going to be a survival MMO, basically. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, well, probably, I would classify it as a survival. In no, that sense. I think Valheim is. I think Valheim mm. is on the money oh, where Valheim-y? it's like, it, there's multiplayer, but it's not an MMO mm. in its traditional sense. It's more like instanced like things where it's smaller mm. groups of people, and it's more PVE as opposed to like PVP stuff. Although yeah, who knows, right. like Rust and those kind of games are very PVP orientated. Mm. So. The term survival is a bit loose as well so i have no idea where they're coming from but we'll you, but you get the idea what... there's going to be crafting involved there's oh, going yeah, to be like an economy uh, management of potential hunger and stuff like that you know mm. so meters yeah survival games just feel like a lot of work to me that's why i never oh, really the same. Like, I'm the same. it just feels like fuck that's it's... a lot of work that's a job <laughs> i don't no, I, I don't mind them if if they're not mmos i survival games as an mmo i get put off now but mm. if it's a survival game where that's just your experience and you play it by yourself and you play it to just survive and explore the world i think it's really cool mm. but the moment it's got that that multiplayer element you know they're going to milk your time that it's going to be multiplayer. you're just going to go man. on and on and on and on and it reminds uh, me of when i did um the I, I don't know if it's called hardcore survival or whatever the mode in fallout new vegas hmm. where you've got hunger and sl- yeah. uh, like sleep oh and That's it's like you, cool you can beat it like once you know how in like 25 minutes so i'm like mainline it i don't eat a single thing just <laughs> yeah. mainline the whole Boom. thing <laughs> screw the survival it's part. Like, a coke at the start of the journey and then just whoosh, pretty much a nuka a cola, cola. <laughs> now like going back to the the console part i mean mm. like i said this the other week that you know i've observed companies that have been acquired or in the process of being acquired and internally man people just put things on ice so like work still goes on but strategic decisions around like okay are we gonna go pc i uh, sorry playstation exclusive or be on multi-plat blah 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 I can see the conversations right mm. now. Before anything's mm. been announced, they're just like, ah, don't say anything. We don't well, know. Well, that's why I we said they know. put console in because console is ambiguous. Yeah, no, they can I always come back and say, no, we said console. We didn't say consoles. Well, who the he- Why did you misread that as consoles? Otherwise, we would have stayed at the consoles or something. Well, console can mean it's... plural and singular. That's why exactly. it's a good word it to could. use. Exactly, it could. It could, but I think it's brilliant to use <laughs> it. Because... That <laughs> well, no, I think it's, it's a very fair point. They don't know that. I, I, I Actually, I'm not even kidding around when I say that. I, I do think they're in a position where they don't know. They don't really know what's going to happen with this. Because well, it might not, well be that Microsoft... PlayStation. It's not going to PlayStation. No, it's not going to PlayStation. Zero chance. 100%. But the law, this is the interesting thing though. Legally, Microsoft cannot put any pressure on them to do that. Legally, mm. they need to act like an independent company, right? So legally... Like, like they will. <laughs> it's, they, you know, I'll call this out mm. because Blizzard have never been singular platform like PlayStation or Xbox in this manner. They've always announced, we're going to be on PlayStation, we're going to be on Xbox. That's what they said with Diablo 4, right? So... Mm. It's actually super dodgy in a way that they've said console because they've never done that before. If they're going on console, they're going everything, like all the modern next-gen consoles. So the fact mm. that they've done that, it's obviously influenced by the deal. But, you know, it's one of those, you know, unwritten rule thing, I think. So, but yeah, we'll how many see. years away are we talking? This is like 2026? Whoa. Why even announce it this early? Mm. Well, it depends. It depends if they decide to like launch in like a game preview early access format, like a lot of these mm. survival games mm. do. So I could see it being like twenty twenty five if they do that. But that's not they they the way that this Blizzard does it is they do the early preview, but they call it a one point <laughs> And they go, mm. "Here's the Diablo three. We'll spend a few years working on it in public." So no. So oh, yeah. when Change you say why, like your question though, Mike, before we go on to mm. the the final story that's going to get us all animated and angry um why do you announce these kind of things honestly it's get talent in it's like at the start you know talking yeah, about the job ads it's mm. yeah you know and there's probably people out there who are like okay cool now that microsoft you know people's mind it's already bought it's already done deal it's not but that's how people think of it they right. go oh well microsoft's bought it the culture's going to get better 
And now mm-hmm. they're saying there's a brand new IP. I can jump in and create things. I can like a whole new world, put yeah. my stamp yeah. on uh, a company that is famous new. for its art. So I think like that's the biggest, you know, draw of it. So I would mm-hmm. imagine they're just at pre production, like at the grey box hmm. stage. So this yeah, that know, makes sense. four or five years away. They take ages to make their games, Blizzard. So Especially at this kind of scale, I can imagine. Mm. And it's good. Take no. your time. Take Do your a time. good game. Mike says take your time. No, well, yeah, who Mike knows? Will never blame who knows? Exactly. Maybe, 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 unlike every other game that they've ever made, it won't be like that. Who I knows? look forward to like episode, you know, 380 300, when we're talking yeah. about this game. And we'll come back to what you said. I'm like, give us, hate give this us, game, but I bought it and I played it. <laughs> give us a Blackthorn survival game. Come on. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe concept on art does not look like Blackthorn. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, to our last story, and this is a doozy. 